Hi everyone. Today we're going to be using um, Modbus TCP over Ethernet and we're going to communicate to the PLC through a router and into our computer. And our computer will actually be running uh, Visual Studio and in particular we'll be using Visual Basic 2015. So the first thing we'll do is look at the uh, PLC. In this case here we're going to be using a do more uh, PLC. So we call up our designer software and basically what we're going to do is take three values in the MHR area which translates to uh, the holding registers in Modbus protocol. So you see here that on a one second I increment one uh, counter or one register I decrement a counter or a register and then I uh, increment the third one rather quickly. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, set all these back to zero again and you can see we can go negative. These are um, the elements. And what we'll do is just ensure that this is in run mode. We'll look at our simulator and we'll just turn that right into run mode there. So there's all of our data that's coming into the, uh, the unit right now. The next thing we have to do is set up our database. And our database is will be a access database. Um, and we just call this ACC database. We'll click that and it's actually located under the C drive under ACC log. So we'll call that up. And we have the one table called ACC log and we'll look at the design. And under the design we will have five fields. We have a log date, log time, register one, two, and three. And there's the description of each one. And then we go back to our, our view and you can see right now our database is empty. So we'll close that for now. And the next thing we'll do is we will call up our uh, Visual Studio. And right now I have a form up here. And how the program will work is I will take this IP address which corresponds to the IP address on the Modbus TCP network and always they use port 502 for it and what we'll do is we'll grab that information um, when we hit refresh so we'll have a button here called refresh it'll grab that information and log it in anytime we hit that button or after one minute we will um, we'll, after using a timer we will grab that information so looking at the program, what we'll do is actually use um, a program called Easy Modbus TCP. And if we were to uh, look at that, the website here will show you it's a free download. And what it is is a set of tools for Modbus TCP. So the program's already written to grab information in and write information to um, the PLC via Modbus. So what we do is we download that and then we can install it uh, or extract it and then we can reference that in our project. So going back to our project if we look at our form here under Solution Explorer what we do is we reference that um, by adding and then selecting reference and we have Easy Modbus DLL. So that was that's what we'll do. We'll add that to our project. Once we have that add to our project, then on our form, we use the imports easy bus for the namespace. Then what we do is we have our button, our click uh, button that we have, and what we'll do is set up a com error zero. Then what we'll do is we will dim our easy bus. Easy Modbus um, information and it comes from text box number one on our main form 
then we will tr do a try. The try will actually uh, see whether or not we have a connection or not. So we have a Modbus Connect. So if the does connect, then everything else gets jumped. And then we go down here and our com error is zero still. Then what we do is we say logging in our, our active. And then what we do is we grab our registers. We're actually reading holding registers. We're starting at address zero or the first uh, holding register. And we're reading three of them. And then what we do is we take our labels, um, our text on our, our form, and we put that, those values in there. Then we disconnect from our Modbus label. Next, what we do is we will uh, do another try, and this is for our SQL instruction to insert into our database. So what we do is we call up our command string, or we dim our, our SQL command. Then we have our uh, object command. Then what we do is we come up with our, our uh, connection string itself, which is this in here. Now, in order to get that connection string, what we do is we have a previous uh, blog that will actually be referenced on the website, so you can pick that up quite easily. So then we use a SQL command to insert into the actual table, the ACC log uh, uh, table that's in our database and what we're actually logging is our date then our time and then registers 1 2 and 3 in our case 0 1 and 2 so then we open our our database we set the command then we execute that command and then we close our database if anything happens then what we'll do is say database error and then we'll kick out the form. Underneath that we have our timer and our timer um, it will actually show on our screen the actual value now and then what we'll do is set our interval to 60,000 uh, milliseconds which is one minute and then we'll enable our timer and then we'll call our button which is the previous code we see up here in order to uh, grab the information again and, and put it in. So this, what this routine will do is every one minute it grabs the information and puts it into the database. And then the last here deals with a link that we have on the actual form itself. So we have our PLC running and we have our database set up so next thing to do is we'll just start this unit and what it will do is it starts loading symbols for your easy mod bus and once that is done then it will then log so here's what we have so far and we can make that a little bigger there we go so now we're logging we can hit refresh to automatically log right away and you see it's 431 it's 435 now I'm reading the top register. So you can see we're actually um, getting values into um, our program here. So we'll do a few more. And you can see where values are changing. So then what we want to do is we will uh, and open up the database itself and make sure that we are actually seeing those log values. So there's our database that we were logging to. We'll open that up. And here are the values that we've just finished logging. So you see it's quite straightforward. It's, it's uh, to implement and easy Modbus uh, works out quite well. So all the, all the software that you see here today is actually free of charge on the web. And so we have the do more uh, information, the do more download page for the software. We have the Visual Studio Community download, which is free of charge. We have the Easy Modbus TCP, which is free of charge. So logging data using Modbus is very straightforward. If you have any questions, 
or concerns or anything you would like to talk about, please um, contact us. And the full manuscript will be on our website of this video at www.accautomation.ca. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to us, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.